Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Rodney Dupree. And I'm Holly Pilgrim. And I'm going to tell y'all what, this is something really neat. Due to COVID, with um, not much going on in the world of festivals, fairs, and cooking contests, we started a cooking class at Galvis Hardware. And this is not your normal class where you get a certificate or go to work at a five-star restaurant when it's over. This class, you're going to learn Cajun cooking the way we do it. Learn history of our food and facts about our food. It's Thursday nights, 10 weeks in a row, starting July 22nd to September 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And the class is only $40 with six to eight menu items for each class and so much more that's not listed, but only 12 spots for each class. So if you want to get in, you better sign up now. You can check us out on Facebook at Cajun Living and Cooking or at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking. And we'll see you in the class. Line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, and mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a losing a man. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. All right, y'all, we made it on stage, and I've got the director of development, Mr. Rad Trasher. How's it going? Good, you? Doing good, doing good. Y'all may remember him from Ride the Bull. He's uh, he heads that up, and it does a very good job on that. Well, thank you. Look, Ride the Bull is a great event. We took it over years ago. You know, as the director of development, I'm also the star tournament director, which also turns into Ride the Bull director. But it's a great kayak tournament. A lot of fun. Now, uh, folks out there want to know about CCA. What did uh, CCA do for Louisiana this year? What 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 we do? Look, one of the biggest things that we've done recently is started a very very prominent nearshore reef program. With that, we are built rebuilding all decommissioned rigs where rigs have been pulled out we're getting permits to go back and rebuild structure and habitat and that's coastwide we're going to end up with about 600 permits we've already dropped uh two by the time you see this show we'll have three and four done as well so just this year my guess is we'll end up with a half a dozen old rigs that everybody used to fish now you'll be catching fish on them again wow wow uh, just to, not to throw one on you, how many people are in CCA? Uh, that you, how many people are in CCA? So just in CCA, Louisiana, we have about 25,000 members. Nationwide, we're pushing the 150, 175,000 uh, group. It, basically, everything from the East Coast, uh, Washington, Oregon, all the way around the Gulf Coast, and then up to, to Maryland. Awesome, bro. I thank you for stopping and talking with me. No problem. Thanks for coming. Have a good time tonight. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. All right, y'all. It's really nice out here, and me and Larry's having a good old morning out here. One of the biggest parts of the Couchon Delay is the crackling cook-off, and, and this goes way back to 76. And uh, I got my buddy here, Larry Roussel, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the crackling contest. He's in charge of the judging part of it, so uh, this is really big for the community. And tell us a little bit about it, Larry. Well, John Kopinex is the head of the uh, Cracklin' Cook-Off, and I just help him with the judging aspect of it. And we're at the Lutcher Park, and rain is, weather is always a factor. But under this pavilion, we've got a lot of cover, so we, we protect it. So if it's floods, yeah, we out. But, yeah. but, but good weather, yeah, we're in. And today, you know, we've we, we got 22 cooks Woo! in the competition. And you and I talked about just a minute ago, 
a lot of them are former champs. A lot of them came out yeah. before, and uh, you know they got different forces to be reckoned with, and it, newcomers too. But uh, the crackling cook-off is a, is a raises money for the event. It also brings a lot of people here. We got with 22 teams, they're going to bring all their support. So it's a it's a it's a great now great we'll have competition. first, second, and third. First, second, and third. Yeah, in one category. Some people like to the crackling with the meat on it some of them don't that's up to the cook some of them like salt some of them like season it's up to you then the judges are going to pick out the ones that they like best so i'm i can't tell you what they're going to like every judge is going to be right, different. right right so and, and and this is a prestigious award y'all because these guys is, it's not a bunch of kids over there this is older guys that's been cooking cracklings a long time exactly right and well said you know and it's not just st james parish you know you got a lot of ascension parish which Santa Mar, to me, Santa Mar got a lot of great crackling yeah, cooks. Yeah. St. Charles does. You got the, the Lafouche Parish, cut off all that area, crackling cooks. But uh, we got a different style from the from the Lafayette area. The Lafayette like more meat. Yeah. And all here they like the, the skin board and the meat. So. And that's it, y'all. It's the crackling contest. We're going to check out the cooks, and we're going to have a winner by the end of the day. There you go. Thank you, Rob. All right, y'all. We made it inside, and I got Mr. Todd Tunstall with me. How's it going? Doing good, Gardney. Thank you very much for coming today. Um, I'm looking around here, and y'all have some really th nice things to offer today as far as the pots. Uh, you told me some about the pots, but let's tell the people, uh, how, how did this come about? How, how did this high performance come about? Well, about 10 years ago, I came up with the first high performance product on the market today for boiling crawfish only. And... In 2019, I had came up with a design for the next generation of high-performance pots that have the ability to come to a boil in one-third the time than a traditional pot. Wow, wow. And and, and, and y'all have so many different lines of pots from small to large, and y'all have these different bases on them. Uh, for the bigger pots, let's tell them about some of the features that you can use on these big pots. Okay. Well, the thing is, today... Our new high-performance product is capable of not alone boiling, but frying and cooking. So we have interchangeable burners designed for boiling, cooking, and, and frying. This is a natural gas version of our pot product. To For all you have natural gas at your house and you've always wanted to use it, now you can boil in natural gas. You don't have to go fill up propane anymore. You just... That's hook it onto the house and if you want to take it somewhere you can switch it so this one here that's go camping you can just switch it with this burner and you can on propane natural gas doesn't perform as well as propane but our bottom is so effective and so efficient that you nearly that it works beautifully so uh, our 10 inch uh, cooker over here is fabulous for doing crackling and other things in our pots and that's some of the things we're going to be doing today, y'all. We're going to be uh, frying and balling. And uh, I'm going to tell you what, we're fixing to get down in business right now. We're going to get some Bloody Marys coming up. We're going to do some frying. We're going to do some cooking. So y'all hang on. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com the new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. 
Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. I'm standing here with the director of the JFA Christmas Parade, Miss Brigitte Roulette. How's it going? It's going good. Um, it's not super crazy yet, so it's pretty good. So last year was the first year that the parade went up Corner View and turned on Burnside. How'd that work out? Um, actually, I think it was confusing, but I think as people get used to it, they'll like it better. I like this route better because there's more parking and there's more place to stand. Whereas when you were running through town, you had a building upside on the side of the sidewalk and you were limited. This way, you're not so limited and you, there's more room to park and more room to stand on the side of the road. So you can have more people. Well, good. Well, that ought to make it, make it a good deal. So how many years has the Jumalai Festival done this? Oh, Lord, I think we took this over uh, 10 years or so ago. Okay. The Chamber didn't want to do it anymore, and they put it up for bids, and the Jumbalaw Festival, I think, was one of the only ones who said, hey, look at us, we might do it. And it's been, y'all been, it's been successful since, huh? It has been successful since. Uh, this year we have a few less floats. I, I really don't know why that is. Um, but we have some new floats that we have new participants who've never done it. So if I can get the ones back and keep the, one, the new ones, we'll be even bigger next year. Well, good deal. Ronnie, you got any questions? I do. I think we have uh, 52 floats. And, uh, well, we have 61 entries. We have 61 entries. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, we've got Jeep. We've got, we're going we're gonna to offer a car club price next year. So that's, we'll, we'll have more entries next year because we'll have a car club price. If you're in a car club, you'll pay this amount versus the amount that individuals, regular individuals. And it's a hero Christmas. A he yeah. Is that right? A hero Christmas, and I even saw somebody down there with Jesus as their hero, which, uh, which that's is great. awesome. That, that's who's the biggest hero but Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So the hero Christmas, now Jesus. It could be military. It could be firefighters. It could be a superhero. Uh, we even have somebody that her brother is suffering from leukemia, and he's their hero for their float. So a hero is a broad, broad, broad choice. So you have a lot you could choose from with hero. Well, good deal. I like the Jesus as the hero because Christmas is the birth of Jesus. So exactly. Jesus is the reason for the season. So, yes, it all right. Well, you got any other thing you want to say? Or? No, uh, we, we're going to go talk to some Jambalaya guys now. All right. Well, thank you, Brigitte. We really okay. appreciate it. Always a pleasure. And y'all come right. on out. If you don't come this year, make sure you come next year. All right. All right, y'all. I'm here with the regional director of Ducks Unlimited here in Louisiana. Let's get his name and where he's from. Hey guys, name is Zach Brown, Regional Director of Louisiana. I live in Denham Springs. I help uh, oversee the event fundraising for Louisiana. Uh, kind of a unique background, too. You know, I work with all the chapters around the state, but I also spent uh, three or four years on the conservation staff delivering the habitat projects that we're doing today. So You got some big, uh, some big pants to fill there with all the stuff you do. It's a conservation works important to us and you know being in this type of role it's important to understand both sides of the organization and I think we we have a lot of work we do in Louisiana I'll tell you a little bit about that but I mean it's it's important to understand that well what I, what the folks out there would like to know is uh, what does Ducks Unlimited do for Louisiana duck hunters so Ducks Unlimited is a conservation organization. A lot of people think we're just here to run banquets, but we're not. We, we are here to raise unrestricted revenue through our events that we match at a national level and bring back in Louisiana. Louisiana is important because it has two of the highest priority uh, waterfowl wintering areas in the country, Mississippi, Alluvial Valley, and the Gulf Coast. So, I mean, it, it's the work that we do in Louisiana is critically important to waterfowl. In Louisiana, we raise about $4 million a year through these banquets. Uh, uh, we spend about $12 million on conservation work every year in the state. So that means that, you know, we take the money, raise it here, send it to Memphis, they match it, they, they get all sorts of different grants coming in, and that money's coming back into Louisiana. So you want to support an organization that gives you something in return, Ducks Unlimited is giving that. You give us a dollar, we turn it into five and deliver work here in Louisiana. It's pretty impressive. 
That is really awesome. So that's important, y'all, to come to the banquets. Be a part of the banquets. Get in the raffles. Be a part of it. Hey, thanks for stopping and talking with me. Let's Anytime. have fun tonight. Oh, you bet. Here we go. Well, here I am with the Grand Marshal of the Parade, a hero's Christmas. I tell you, we're blessed. Continue to be blessed in this parish. You know, uh, what a beautiful day today it is. Oh, yeah. Man, it could, you must have dialed in the weather. You could, couldn't, <laughs> could, couldn't have picked a more beautiful day here in Ascension, man. What a, what a, what a great day for, for the community to get together for a great, great Christmas parade. So, a hero's Christmas, and they pick you to be the Grand Marshal. I, I, that's something... You work for your whole life. I would imagine that's something you work for your whole life. How does it feel to to be that? I tell you, I don't uh I don't consider myself a hero, um, but I tell you, we got a lot of we got a lot of heroes in our oh, yeah. parish. You know, when it when when you start talking about the sheriff's office, you start talking about Gonzalez Police Department, you start talking about all the fire departments that we have in our parish. You know, uh, I, I'm I'm blessed to be the one that gets to represent them. I, I'm not. I don't consider myself a hero at all. But I tell you what, our parish is continuously blessed to have heroes. Right. Yes. Very, very blessed. Well, um, so we're standing in front of the Santa Mall Volunteer Fire Department booth. You know a little bit about yeah. Santa Mall <laughs> Fire Department. Got it. Just, just having to know those, those, those crew. I tell you, hats off to the, uh, to the members of the Santa Mall and the Fifth Ward Department. They've been working on this float for months, and I tell you what, they really, really went above and beyond this year. Uh, they, uh, they, they've been very blessed over the last couple of years to place first, second, or third in the parade, and for them to, uh, to them, to, to, for what I'm being told today. Yeah, they we took, got a little, we got a little sneak peek for yeah, yeah. But what I need got the award, so. Uh, what is it? First place in the first civic place. division? Yes, yes. First place, religious and civic. Religious and civic. So, wow. And look, that is nothing but hard, hard work by a bunch of volunteers that have been, you know, not going to bed till 11 or 12 o'clock at night for several weeks to, to, to present this beautiful float to the, to, the, to the people of Ascension Parish. So, it's, um, so got a new fire department coming up in Santa Mar. Tell us about that. So we we blessed. I mean, you know, we uh, it, it's, it's hard to believe we're rolling into 2020, right. and and we're still trying to recover from the 2016 flood. But we should be uh, we should be housing a brand new fire station in Santa Mall sometime in February or March. But uh, also the uh, the town of Sorrento and the and the and the rural area of Geismar should be having a uh, new fire station sometime in the month of January. All right, y'all. I got the lady who's the chair lady who puts this on, Miss Betty Lambert. How's it going this morning? It's going really good. It looks like we got a good turnout. Very good turnout. We have about 135 children, and the weather is perfect. It is. So. It is. I see all the fancy trophies we got ready to give out and the bicycles and everything. Yes, yes. Have kids already trying to get on them. <laughs> like we always talk about, there's, there's too many people to thank for this. You know, you just yeah. have to thank everybody who was a part of it. Definitely. You know? There are many, many, and we could not do it without them, for sure. There's also the people that cleaned this up. Uh, Mr. Virgil is the... Uh, in charge of all of the, yeah. this place, and he has all the people that come out here and clean it up, and we really thank them. And it looks nice. They got it, it, they got it all cut, and the ponds yeah. weedy and everything. It is perfect. It is perfect. Uh, it's never been better than this, I don't think. But, you know, that's my opinion. Right. Well, I'm going to say it for everybody out there. You do a good job for this, Miss Betty, and thank keep you. up the good work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm Rodney Dupree. And I'm Holly Pilgrim. And I'm going to tell you all what. This is something really neat. Due to COVID, with um, not much going on in the world of festivals, fairs, and cooking contests, we started a cooking class at Galvis Hardware. And this is not your normal class where you get a certificate or go to work at a five-star restaurant when it's over. This class, you're going to learn Cajun cooking the way we do it. Learn history of our food and facts about our food. It's Thursday nights, 10 weeks in a row starting July 22nd to September 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and the class is only $40 with six to eight menu items for each class and so much more that's not listed but only 12 spots for each class so if you want to get in you better sign up now. You can check us out on Facebook at Cajun Living and Cooking or at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking and we'll see you in the class. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. 
live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Crawfish season is coming soon. It's time to move into the 21st century with the new high-performance cookers and super boilers. With our new state-of-the-art technology, the 120-quart pots come to a boil in under 7 minutes and the return boil in under 2 minutes. This fast return boil is key to perfectly cooked crawfish, all while using far less propane. Now, no more mushy crawfish using the old, outdated slow boilers. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories, like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you, a very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. We have the pleasure of having some wildlife and fishery here, Lieutenant Will Roberts. How's it going? Good. How are you, man? Doing good. Doing good. And a little bit today we're going to talk about what I, what I want to talk about, a little bit of boating safety, but I want to talk about uh, licenses. When do you need a license? Uh, once you turn the age of 16, you need a, a license to fish in state waters. Okay. And that's if you're off the bank, in the boat, anywhere? Anywhere in public state waters. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about, you know, we talked about the brim and the sackle, and uh, let's tell the people what they can catch, you know. How many, how many sackle can you keep? You can keep 50 uh, in state waters, and then you, you jump to catfish, you can keep 100. 100? 100, yep. And then out of those species of catfish, you can, there, there are some minimum size limits, but you can have a 25 undersized in, okay. in that 100. And then as far as um, largemouth bass, it's yeah. 10. Ten so you can have ten together. of them. Yep. So that's why they call them. Yeah, <laughs> keep <laughs> right. your biggest ten. If yeah, you can keep, keep ten, and then that that's that's talking generally across the state. Now, if you go to certain areas, Toledo Bend, Falls River, there's some additional size limits that you might need to check before you go. It's yeah. always a good idea before you go to an area you're going to fish is to know what the limits are. Yeah. So you don't get in trouble. Yeah, you can say the lady at Walmart told me I right. could do this, and that's not going to work. Yeah, you're still getting the ticket. Work, right. And yeah. we want to mention they sell the hunting and fishing license here. So right. you can get them here, and I'm sure they have the books too. And if they're not, I'm, I'm sure they have those regulations. And, that, and that's pretty much what you go by the book. Huh? The yeah, book. We, we, I mean, we go by the law, but typically there could be a misprint in the book. And, and gotcha. generally we would work and, and put that out if there was because right. – um, we, we try to get that information out to the public because we want them to go out, have a good time, and, and not have to deal with us on a, on a negative side. And something that you probably never – do you get to go fishing? I do. Uh, mm -hmm. Not when I work. But, right. Uh, we enjoy all aspects of outdoors. But What's your favorite fishing? Um, probably bass fishing, you know, gotcha. if, they, if they're biting. I'll, I enjoy that. Gotcha. Hey, thanks for coming. Yep, thanks for having us. Thank you. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement. It's bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. 
Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Rodney Dupree. And I'm Holly Pilgrim. And I'm going to tell y'all what, this is something really neat. Due to COVID, with um, not much going on in the world of festivals, fairs, and cooking contests, we started a cooking class at Galvis Hardware. And this is not your normal class where you get a certificate or go to work at a five-star restaurant when it's over. This class, you're going to learn Cajun cooking the way we do it. Learn history of our food and facts about our food. It's Thursday nights, 10 weeks in a row starting July 22nd to September 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and the class is only $40 with six to eight menu items for each class and so much more that's not listed but only 12 spots for each class so if you want to get in you better sign up now. You can check us out on Facebook at Cajun Living and Cooking or at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking and we'll see you in the class. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Rodney Dupree. And I'm Holly Pilgrim. And I'm going to tell y'all what, this is something really neat. Due to COVID, with um, not much going on in the world of festivals, fairs, and cooking contests, we started a cooking class at Galvis Hardware. And this is not your normal class where you get a certificate or go to work at a five-star restaurant when it's over. This class, you're going to learn Cajun cooking the way we do it. Learn history of our food and facts about our food. It's Thursday nights, 10 weeks in a row, starting July 22nd to September 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and the class is only $40 with six to eight menu items for each class and so much more that's not listed but only 12 spots for each class so if you want to get in you better sign up now. You can check us out on Facebook at Cajun Living and Cooking or at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking and we'll see you in the class.